Math in Black training video 1-1. Hello, we are now going to learn about the trigonometric functions. You should have already accessed your handbook and studied the basics. If you have not yet completed the online intro assessment, please do so now. Pause the video. Superior, you have completed the intro. Now, let's go ahead and look at our trigonometric functions. They like to show up in disguise. Please do not be fooled. Agent M, example one. Thank you, Agent R. So, we need to simplify the trigonometric expression. Number one, we have sine theta secant theta. We want to figure out what this is disguised as. So, we'd want to use our trig identities from our manual to discover what this says sine theta secant theta. A good strategy for figuring out what this is is to rewrite the expression in terms of sine and cosine. Sine theta is sine theta, but secant theta is one over cosine theta. That is a trig identity in disguise. Okay, now I have sine theta times one over cosine theta. That can be rewritten as sine theta over cosine theta sine theta over cosine theta. That is tangent theta. So we have discovered sine theta times secant theta is really tangent theta. Trainees, complete next problem. Pause video. Now that you have completed, trainees, did you get cosine theta? If your work looks like this, this is insufficient. You must show your work for how to get cosine theta. Simplifying steps is essential in completing the mission. So you must show sine theta times cosine theta over sine theta for cotangent. So the sines divide away and you get cosine theta. Agent R, please take us through the next one. Thank you, Agent M. Superior effort. Next, we will go over number two. Number two is definitely in disguise. Cosecant theta divided by secant theta. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we will do what Agent M suggested. Let's get everything in terms of sine or cosine. Cosecant is one over sine theta. That is being divided by secant theta, which is one over cosine theta. Please remember that when dividing fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Therefore, I have one over sine theta times cosine theta over one. When I multiply those together, cosine theta divided by sine theta, which is our trigonometric function cotangent theta. Good disguise, but not good enough for us, math in black. Trainees, will you be fooled? Try the next problem. Trainees, I hope you were successful. You should have gotten cosine theta. But did you make sure to show the recipe for taking off its disguise? Let's check. Cosine divided by sine is cotangent. One over sine is cosecant. Multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Sine theta divides out with sine theta. Therefore, we have cosine theta. Please double check that you have the correct recipe or you will not pass this training phase. Number three. Trainees, I'm needed elsewhere. Agent M, please take over. Thank you, Agent R. Number three, we have cosecant theta, tangent theta. All right, none of this is in terms of sine and cosine currently, so we need to do that conversion first. Cosecant theta is one divided by sine theta. Tangent theta, if I would like it in terms of sine and cosine, is sine theta over cosine theta. Now I can see the sines would divide out and I would be left with one over cosine theta. Hmm, it's in term of one trig function, but can I do better? One over cosine theta could also be seen as secant theta. We have unmasked this trig expression. Hmm, can you do the same with the next? If you got sine theta, you are doing splendidly. Cosines divide out after the expression is converted in terms of sine and cosine, leaving us with sine theta as our undisguised expression. Agent R is back. 
she shall do the fourth. What was it, Agent R? Agent M, this is not acceptable. We must do better. The trainees have to know. We almost had an interplanetary meltdown. Co-secant as one over co-sign? Are you kidding me? What are we doing here? What's happening? I know it seems like co should go with co -sign. It does not. What should it be, Agent M? What should it be? One over sign. Thank you. co is what? One over sign. Well, then that means secant is? One over co -sign. Let's not have this mistake. All right, take it away, Agent R. You got to show them how to do this. Hello, trainees. Um, I'm sorry if you heard a little bit of that scuffle, but you should be aware of how serious this is. Number four, secant cotangent sine. Secant theta, cotangent theta, sine theta. Secant is what? Yes, you better know, trainee. One divided by cosine theta. Cotangent, cosine divided by sine theta. Sine, sine is already in terms of sine. This is a wonderful outcome. Cosines divide, sines divide. My answer is one. Trainees, this is acceptable. You try the next one. Trainees, the answer was one. Good job. However, for advanced training purposes, you might have noticed you could have done this two ways. So the first way is the way that we almost always go, sines and cosines which in fact, the cosines divided, the sines divided, the answer was one. But did you notice that we also had our reciprocal identity for cotangent or tangent? I could have said equals tangent theta times one over tangent theta, because cotangent is one divided by tangent. Tangent thetas divide out, which equals one. Okay, trainee, I think you can handle this, but be aware and be cautious. Sometimes it does not work going one over tangent theta, in which case we always revert back to sines and cosines. <laughs>